bring in Jim Nussel, CEO of Credit Union National Association, former OMB director under President George W. Bush. Jim, anything surprising in the CBO report that came out today? You know, at least as I looked at it, there really wasn't that much that, that was surprising. And it's also not surprising that there would be nothing surprising. CBO tends to be a uh, right down the middle sort of forecaster. I mean, they, they take the consensus of the economics and there was no surprise that most are now, uh, you know, in consensus that there will be a recession probably by the end of, of uh, 2021. And so there was no surprise there. It adds up the, the deficit. No surprise that the deficit is, is exploding almost to a trillion dollars and that we've added a lot of deficit spending since uh, the passage of uh, both the tax uh, bill as well as the budget deal just this last month. I think the one surprise or the one that I hope that the White House pays attention to, and it's probably what you were asking as well, and that is, you, you asked, what can the White House do? There's also a, what should the White House not do? And I think the strong signal from CBO, as well as a number of other indicators out there right now, is quit putting a drag on, on trade. Uh, that that is really the drag that's out there. It's going to affect overall trade. It's going to affect uh, our overall balance of payments. It's going to affect uh, consumer spending. It's going to affect, it has the Elkhart, Indiana effect, uh, cost uh, that drives up costs on uh, goods that uh, people are out there wanting to buy. They pull back. It, it has a drag on jobs. I mean, it just keeps going from there. So I think the real tell or the signal from CBO is uh, is in relationship to trade and providing some certainty in that in that arena. As far as the economic projections, they do say that growth is going to slow from two and a half percent last year to two point three percent and about one point eight percent in each of the next four years. That, that's not a recession forecast. No, it's not. But they said one point eight over ten. If I read it, if I read it correctly, I may be mistaken. But that's what I read. And so they mm -hmm. they don't quite forecast directly a recession. Uh, and most even are suggesting that depending on a number of factors, this this could just barely meet the test of a reception, a recession and then come right back. But regardless, CBO is not going to be is going to color outside the lines of the consensus economic forecasts that are already out there in the marketplace right now. That's just not how they operate. Jim, on a related point, there's some attention on the fact that the uh, interest rate assumptions embedded in the forecast are somewhat higher than the market would currently expect. Therefore, perhaps uh, the CBO is projecting higher interest costs for the government in future years. I mean, maybe that mitigates the message a little bit. What's the typical procedure, protocol for the CBO attempting to project interest rates out so far over this 10-year window? Yeah, that's a great question. And, and my experience with CBO is that, again, they're not very dynamic uh, in, in their forecasting when it comes to long range, especially. Uh, they will take what they know today and they will continue and extrapolate that out. They will generally do that, again, within coloring within the lines of whatever is out there in the consensus. So I don't think you should look to CBO to give some new forecast or some nugget of, oh, my goodness, they're going in a different direction than everyone else. I think listening to what Powell said today, just a couple of hours ago, is probably much more instructive about interest rates uh, than the CBO report will be on that subject. This is the Congressional Budget Office, the congressional being what I'm emphasizing there. But nobody in Congress seems to care anymore about deficits, do they? <laughs> no, they don't. And uh, for someone like me, who has always been a fiscal conservative Republican and, a, and, a, and an open trade uh, Republican, I'm, I'm very troubled by the, uh, by the trend. And I'm troubled by it because what it does to consumers, what it, the, the drag that it puts on what is 70% of a lot of the economic force in our in our country is what it does to consumers representing credit unions i got to tell you we're hearing that that noise that frustration that concern just from our members a lot of our 115 million members across the country they're coming in they're they're worried about their future whether it's their job living paycheck to paycheck and they see the costs going up because of the trade war. There's some uncertainty as we talk about recessions coming. Uh, the costs going up, period, makes them uh, start worrying about whether or not they're going to be able to make ends meet. And so we do a lot of financial health and, and literacy and work with them, just working them through some of these issues. So I see it as a leading indicator 
of the concern from, from the consumers. And if they decide that they're going to pull out of the market, they decide they're going to stop spending, uh, that will force us, I think, as, as quickly as anything into a recession. Really quickly, does the president have any unilateral authority to change capital gains taxes? No, uh, not that I'm aware of. Uh, again, as soon as I say that, I, I realize that he's been uh, quite prolific when it comes to executive orders, so maybe they have found a loophole. Uh, he can certainly change withholding tables through Treasury, things like that. But eventually, those tax bills come back to, uh, uh, to haunt taxpayers. So much of what he has to do, if he is going to consider options, he has to do together with Congress. But as I said before, I think he should also consider a few things to not do, and that's mm -hmm. quit being distracted by Greenland, focus on, on rights, <laughs> uh, on, on, getting our, uh, uh, on getting our trade uh, back on an even keel that's predictable and something that we can have confidence in and that our trading partners can have confidence in. Uh, I think we can be tough and still be predictable, and, and I would hope that, that that's what he considers more than anything else.